reacting to this? Can everyone see it, just to be sure? Yeah. Okay, I play two things. Gravekeepers and Medulce. Oh my god. Anyway. I cannot believe you still have not turned off Gilliman and his life support. <laughs> but yeah, Gil for those who don't know 40k over here, Gilliman is uh, in stasis after taking a hit from his brother Fulgrim, which poisoned him. So they kept him in a stasis field, which basically keeps him perpetual, you know, doesn't age or anything. So he told him to turn his huh. life support off. Well, I will eventually, my lord. I am tired of all your eventualities. I you do must love this do part. It. it is important. And I will in due time, my lord. Do it and no, oh, 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 oh. No. I no. will not. No. Are you defying me? Yes, in this particular instance, I am. Oh, no. Then I have no choice. I challenge you. To a game of Paradox Billiards, Mousetroy, and Roulette, fourth dimensional high for cube chess strip poker. What the? If you win, I will let it slide for now. But if I win, I will banish you to the realm of Ultramar until you oh, have dear. completed this mission. You cannot but say it to the plan of Ultramar. I don't even know how to play Paradox Billiards. I don't believe <laughs> chips poker. I will have a tech priest give you the knowledge instantly with the power of science. There we go. <laughs> Now you will be fit with the proper gear as well. What is this and why is it necessary? You already <laughs> know, so be quiet. Yes. Your deck has oh. already been so based upon moral activity in your cerebrum, as well as total type. You all know what this is. Oh, this is what it is. <laughs> yes. Uh. What? What is this? I now can show you something. What are you going to show us, Fable? I posted it in the in the toll lab chat. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, the model. Oh my god. So when that for those that don't very tiny dual For those that don't know, they he showed us a uh custodies model with a dual disc attached to it. A tiny yeah. dual disc, so it fits perfectly oh. for those I just had all game rules implanted directly into your it mind. You already know fucking everything, so stop things, looking, and it. let us play. Remember yeah. the stakes. Oh boy, they're here. Oh my, my, my. If uh, Kitten loses this duel, these which no doubt will happen. Uh, these, uh, basically yeah, what, what, what Brevo Alpha Deuce did is base some of the custodies, the Emperor's personal guard, off of their first edition counterparts, which this is kind of what they look like. First edition was just a um, Warhammer Fantasy minis with a with an in space backstory, right? Basically, they also the custodians basically had black helmets and were mostly naked. Also, uh, first edition was just a parody slash spoof of every sci-fi ever. So we see things that are related to other popular sci-fi things at the time. That's why they yeah. wanted to make fun of it, and then it became its own thing. And now it's just like you became what you wanted to make fun of. Yeah. You played this one. You will be sent away to Ultramar for a long time. Ultramar is the home of the Ultramarines. Actually, I am banishing you two. I hate it. <laughs> Sorry, what? This is now. That's not the actual plan. That's not the name of the actual plan, but they call it Ultramar <laughs> sometimes. This is. Ultra game. It's now an Ultra game! <laughs> My god. Yeah. They can probably use those, you those, those the blades game. or Calco's tool discs. Probably. You and your friends will all be banished to the Ultramar realm. <laughs> you are only hope. Please win. Please win. No promises are made. No promises. Yeah. Jam of the Earth. They, yeah, basically. Fine, That's what the three stripper stodies over there are. As the Upper has called them every time they enter your room, his torment on the throne manifest. Play, I guess. As long as you look away from the old strip. They really are. No promises are made. All right. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Son, yo, start things off. Draw your five cards. Here we go. Okay, here goes. You know, I am looking at these cards right now, and 
My lord, I don't think this is neither billiard, chess, hypercube, strip poker, Australian roulette, nor a combination of the five. This is just a children's card game. By the Milky Way's memories, I will shoot you out of a fucking cannon, unless you start playing. <laughs> yeah. sorry, I'll just continue. I should probably start easy and defensive. Mm. This creepy bug man, man murderer will do the trick. Everyone is attacked, he will destroy Everyone. Drop swords revealing light on a field that only has a, a face down ma man eater bug. It eats itself. Yeah, man eater bug. Someone. Oh. By the way, someone did actually make the anime cards, like from Duelist Kingdom, into an actual thing. It's very confusing what they do. Like, man eater bug only eats fight. men. I'll place this face down and end my turn. Yo have already lost. Yeah. It is like yo do not know who you are playing Jules with. King is the only game the game I've ever seen more complex than Warhammer. Pretty How much. many fucking keywords every every card would need? Yeah. Fact of my golden yeah. ladybug activates, giving me 500 extra life points. But whatever is already the lead, there's been begun to start. How is it ever going to be now? I even activate uh. my gas bot and sanguineous charity, allowing me. Of course he calls it Sanguinious Charity. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Forgot about mm. that. For those who don't know, the name of one of his sons is Sanguinious, and he has giant angel wings on his back. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Wait a minute. Pot of Green is banned in competitive play, isn't it? This isn't competitive. He's going to drop up original release obelisk on his ass. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> three cards in total. At that point, the effect However, is what he says it is. Charity, Pretty I much. I have to discard two of the cards I have into the warp, and my chosen sacrifices shall be the golden ladybug and the shitty right. chaos looking like. brother fucker. <laughs> Fortunately, throwing him in yeah, the gray warp gives me an extra. Yeah. <laughs> extra card, so it is six new ones in total. Oh boy. I'm sorry, but isn't that super cheap? I mean, why wouldn't you have those cards in your deck? There's no reason not to. I am the Emperor and thus destined to wield the very best cards humanity has ever created. Including the broken ones? The meta is not exactly merciful in the warp sunshine. Apparently and... I didn't know this, no, but what... <laughs> yeah, no it ain't. Also, <laughs> apparently I didn't know this, but uh, Fable, do you remember the battle that uh, Horus and the Emperor had? Apparently it was like they were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! originally. <laughs> Because they were having, like, a mental battle. And apparently someone told me. I'm not sure if this is true, but it was like they were playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, I mean, I I guess it can be considered that. Because according to what I know, uh, their mental battle was... Essentially, the Emperor was doing a bunch of tricks, saying stupid crap to try to get Horus to let down his guard. And it seemed to have worked, kind of. Kind of. I, I guess it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! Speaking of which... I now activate Obedience School. This oh, yeah. allows me to bring forth three different beasts from my deck and summon them to this realm. I choose a happy snake, Abomination Dog. Abomination and horse Dog. Bird. Horse Bird. I, can I just say I love how he does the movement and actually has the cards literally be cut out and actually move? I don't know how he does this effect, but it's awesome. I mean, he could have. When did this come out? Uh, eight years ago. Okay, so no, he didn't date my dual wings though. Then. Yeah. Because they have more or less. They are all an infinite things, amount right? more loyal. <laughs> they are all an infinite amount more loyal. They're tasteful in choice of attire compared to the three strippy tears over there. My house, blessed biceps! Our glorious overlord has three servants out on the field already! And they're all rushing up the life points! How is Kitten ever going to it now? That is certainly bad news for me. My turn? Did I say I was done? Baby no. boy, let me tell you, I am far from done serving this gold plate <laughs> shit explosion sandwich to you. Yeah. Mercy, I sacrifice all three of my beasts. Here it comes. So I can summon a much greater servant. It's been so bright. Are all the messages cruel? Is it more than a little screenage? I try to play the game. I'm really cool. <laughs> Make yeah, that figures. Oh. Uh, yes. That's why you call it that, Mech. <laughs> no, that's actually from... No, uh, that's like Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Yeah, that's from a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. He oh. calls it Mega Ultra Chicken, which is actually a reference to Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Arise, chicken. Arise. It's Mega Ultra Chicken. 
Yeah. And fucking Slifer is literally called Slifer the Executive Producer. Because it's mm, because so Slifer was a name of that one of the producers came up with, or one of the producers had that name. My chicken's effect allows me to pay all but 100 of my point lives to increase its attack to ludicrous amounts. Just a reminder, Rod is only the worst of the god cards in the game. Yeah. He's using, I think, anime sound cards. Her face when Ron immediately dies. I mean, no, no, if he was using anime cards, he'd, well, he'd only have one life point left. True. Ironically, Ron is also the strongest god card in the game. Yeah. Sphere mode. The Bakugan. The heart is but one muscle you must believe. Oh yeah, what? They said this. I remember. In the heart of the cards. Believe in the heart of the cards. The heart is but one muscle you must believe in, kitten. The pigs and the fur, but it's all too integral part of the god. You must put your baby. Dear god. That'll give you a tight sphincter. Yeah, it's a cloudy. I'm pushing you down the stairs. <laughs> I was drinking something and you made me laugh. <laughs> I didn't oh, do God. anything. I know, but I. God damn it, people. I was drinking something. Go. If I was and not the monster, I became. <laughs> oh my God, I'm glad. Before we're doing this, I need to do the dishes, sir. I now set a card. Oh. Then we activate go. the temple of the keys. <laughs> Since I am technically a king, I am allowed access to the- Listen, activity. Fable, it's not my fault. You can't blame me for everything like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards I'm you're not. buying. For those- if, Since you I'm didn't know, Medica, I showed- I showed Fable, who's a ringleader VTuber, the Performa Pals, and he's been trying to collect them. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, I, I'm not showing any more pictures. Hmm. Also, yeah. show him the Perform Mages. He might also like those. Oh yeah, the perform mages are based off of the dragons. Creation of trap cards. The turn I have set them. So now I activate the card DNA oh, surgery. Yeah. yeah. Seems now. generic circus to me. Oh no, each one. If I remember correctly, each one is based off of like there's the pendulum mage, the Xyz mage, and oh, yeah. Anyway, he's activating DNA the surgery. Power of science. My make all the chicken is experimenting on them. My great hands are these children are so he can attain a new form. Let's see. Welcome your glorious golden subjugator, the weak warrior of Terra. And for those looking, yes, okay, he... I'll give it to them. That was actually pretty clever. Yeah. Hmm. For those who don't know, the Emperor basically just summoned himself to the field. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. Yu Gi Oh players in the enemy have done that before, though. <laughs> I summon myself in attack mode. Okay, Platy, I immediately summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. White Lightning! Yes, oh, no. actually, Your normal monster is certainly type. going to be a big challenge. I mean, but it's Platy. He has no effect. Or do I? <laughs> Their effect is being drunk, Platy. You've lost five dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, it seems exactly the same to me in all other accounts. That oh. is because I am not done yet. I now bring upon him the noble arms of destiny. Ah. Since he is now a warrior with hands and a brain larger than a walnut, he is allowed to carry weapons legally, especially marvelous weapons such as these that deny all witches that try to surpass us. That is to say, it makes him indestructible. Oh, that's nasty. That means Kitten can't possibly hope to destroy it. Quick, oh, play Mystic Mine. Yes. <laughs> and now, for the final touch, Here we by go. throwing away a useless card. I also equip my warrior with the twin swords of flashing light. It reduces his ludicrous attack strength by 500, but now he is allowed to attack two times in a fucking rope. I just got a boss. You get cards in the mail, might as well start opening them. Yeah, no problem. This makes sense, honestly, for that. Two times in a row? That means. 
Now warrior, annihilate his face down and turn him down face. Turn him down face. <laughs> okay, my emperor. Thank you so much. Wait, what about his face nope. down? Stars. Oh, he attacked twice, remember? He already destroyed Man Eater Bug. Oh, uh, F's in the chat. What did Man Eater Bug uh, destroy on the way out? Nothing, because he only has one monster and it's indestructible. F? So, My he only says it's a big enough rock. I mean, this is the most accurate uh, Yu Gi Oh video I've seen. I'm friend. just saying, if it was more accurate, uh, he would have been sacrificed for fucking Mothra by now. Ah, yes. The perfectly Eww. ultimate great moth. No, I mean, I mean, fucking, I don't remember its name, but. Oh, yeah! Kaiju. Those kaiju cards, I sometimes forget about them. I love that they were meant to be, oh, yeah, you can make the. Well, you can su sacrifice your opponent's monsters for a kaiju. And that's where everyone else stopped reading, because that's the only thing they do that matters. Yeah, I wish people actually used the kaiju cards as they were meant to be. Giant well, they boxes. suck if you play them normally. I've tried. True. I've tried so hard to but make them I good. Feel this round is not golden enough. So oh. it is time to terraform. Yeah, everyone knows With this card. I am allowed to take a field spell from terraforming my deck. Mars. They're ready. And now I am going to activate it. I turn this ready stone into it. an iridescent golden palace with the golden castle of Stromberg. That's right. I've never seen <laughs> such radiant beauty outside my mirror before. Your mirror being my lubricated abs, of course. Oh my god. This castle forces you to summon and attack with a monster every time you enter your battle phases. And each monster that tries to attack is automatically destroyed, and half of its attack points are drawn from your life. However, this card does have a maintenance fee, as half a deck of cards has to be thrown into the graveyard every turn for it to stay active. Fortunately, it is your deck that stands for the cause. The Emperor's deck is a hodgepodge of nonsense. Yes, it's a hodgepodge of nonsense made to bring out to basically summon himself and bring out and make everything gold. You can't have hmm. a game with a card that overpowered in it. Only I have one, so it is fair. But yeah, he's using the anime effect of Castle Strongberg. Love the anime effect. Oh god. Um, your opponent just starts just discarding their well, their entire deck every turn, and uh, if you try to attack, you die. Pretty much. And it says, does anyone else play this game except you? Except you. Cinch does. Zeech is a giant nerd now, isn't he? Shut up and make <laughs> your move. I need you to get to Ultramar <laughs> now, before the dishes stack up too tightly. This is really bad. If he is forced to attack, you will lose automatically. The only way you lose is by somehow destroying that castle. Oh, also, the castle is indestructible. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> now. And even if he did destroy the castle, my warrior would still super murder anything he has. There is no hope. Now draw your last pathetic card so I can end this pin on it. Well, oh my okay, god. I guess. Oh, shit. There goes off my deck. There we Dude. go. It is time. Um, my lord? You ready for it? Exodia! <laughs> that would actually be funny. You did say I have to play Destiny Destiny Board. I play Destiny Board. We have to wait five turns for- Oh, you destroyed my card. <laughs> yeah, back when I was young and sucked ass at Yu-Gi-Oh, uh... I got beaten so bad by a guy who played Final Countdown on a Destiny board, and I'm pretty sure he had Exodia in the deck too, just as a fuck you, and he timed it so Exodia, well, so Final Countdown would end the same turn as his Destiny board. Oh, wow. I mean... That guy was a douche. I mean, honestly, I was just, when I was a little kid when I played Yu-Gi-Oh, I had an 80 card deck because I just picked monsters that looked cool. To me. <laughs> I carefully built a deck composed of nothing but machine monsters and mostly Machina. Oh, wow. Right. Nothing like but destroys. Whatever measly attempt you oh, throw yeah. at it will not even scratch it. I guess in that case I'll play this. Giant Trunade. Everyone remembers Giant Trunade. <laughs> oh, yeah, it destroys all things. All not spells and traps go back to people's no, hands. No, everything goes no, back to their hands. Here. What the fuck? He's become and, a true Yu-Gi-Oh uh, player. Yeah. I summon Wind Up Kitten. And then I use Technicalities. Own so your monster goes back to your hand. 
Yes. Wind up, kitten. Attack his life points directly with your orb. Wind up, cat attack. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> he, he did it. Kitten actually did it. <laughs> 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 Like ten minutes of like anime style declaration, and then he and then he won the way an actual Yu Gi Oh player would. Yeah, or a, or an anime pro tag who does a bunch of bullshit once the anime decides to bring out their giant monster card. They just play a fucking children's card game. Looks like I'm off the hook, my lord. Be quiet. The spin-off was dumb. Let us never speak of it again. But my lord, I am king of the card games now. Silence. Go and wash dishes. Washing detergent in attack mode! <laughs> <laughs> yes, he just summoned a psychic fist to slap him for that. <laughs> but yeah, for those who don't know, the next thing we're going to see is Caiaphas Kane. Also, Mechwolf, because I know it'll piss you off. There is a cleaning archetype in Rush Duels. Revolving around spamming the spell card Bleach Mortar. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh my god, you really are. He showed me the freaking jersey cards, which is just old monsters wearing jerseys. It's old monsters that have the, uh. name Sol that have the word soldier in their name. Except now it's Soul Jersey. And for some reason they're supposed to be a nickname of the Jersey Devils? I... Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, just the Jersey Devils. They do their best. Yeah, it just pushes you over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Don't to continue on, my dirty song. This was funny. Anyway, next is Caiaphas K.